ruling. Dobbs versus the state of Mississippi came down six to three for the Supreme Court ruling overturning the 50 year precedent of Roe versus Wade. I want to get to Leslie Gila Jacobs with McGeorge School of Law professor who's kind of talking to us, kind of walking us through this decision this morning. Leslie, you there? Yes, I am. Okay, so let's talk about um, <laughs> First of all, your, your take on this, uh, we were talking during the break, there's so much to get to in this, but what's your initial take on this? Well, my initial take is that we're not surprised because this is the same thing we saw in the leaked draft opinion. Right. Uh, so the vote count is exactly what we expected. I think we have to look at the cases that have been coming out in the last number of days and see a contrast. Right. When the court says there's an individual right in the Constitution, right. reinterprets the Constitution, it takes away the ability of democratic bodies to make laws. So we saw that the, this court likes religious liberty. We had that case. And it likes the gun right, which we saw yesterday, taking away the ability here in California in particular to make laws with the abortion right taking away the abortion right, saying we reinterpret the Constitution, the word liberty no longer includes the right to choose abortion. Right. That gives the democratic bodies the ability to make laws. Okay, Just so and, that, and this, this is an important point here. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, what you're saying is uh, yesterday with the gun ruling, uh, the Supreme Court said this uh, should not be a state issue, this should be a federal issue. And today they're saying, hey, this should not be a federal issue, this should be a state issue with the abortion case, right? Exactly right. Okay, and so, uh, this ruling is long, it's 213 odd pages, um, reading some of the dissension here and the opinions um, uh, from Justice Roberts all the way down to the three that dissented. What was your, um, what stuck out to you? Well, what stuck out all along here is the question between the result in the case and then also the role of judges and how important it should be that judges stick with their previous rulings or stick with previous interpretations of the Constitution. This one's been in place for 50 years. And we right. had Republican appointed justices finding the right initially. Right. We had three Republican appointed justices reaffirming it in 1992, saying this would damage our legitimacy right. if it looked like we were politicians. And now we have the justices coming and saying, oh gosh, this was just egregiously wrong. And here's why, and we have the ability here. And in fact, we're, we should, it's our role to overrule this. And so I think people need to read this and think about the judge's role and make their own decision about whether this is a proper judicial decision. Right, instead of, it seems almost more political because of the way the court is divided and that has become more talked about in recent history. Uh, Leslie Gila Jacobs from George School of Law. I'm gonna let you get back to reading some of this. I wanna tune back in with you here coming up at the nine o'clock hour and talk to you more about some of the issues, delve in this to a little deeper. Thank you so much for joining this hour and I wanna check back within you next hour if we can, if your schedule, I know you're a busy woman this morning, if it allows. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right.